Okay, here we have uh, SOL. This is actually A2. It's the new SOLs this year. Um, laws of exponents. We're going to start off with multiplying monomials, and we need to define what a monomial is. Um, monomial is a single number, a single variable, or a product of numbers and variables. Um, here's our, here are some examples. We can have a simple variable x. Um, we can have a number negative 3. We could have um, negative 3 fourths x and it could be something as complicated as x squared y z cubed. As long as they're all multiplied together, joined by multiplication, then we have a monomial. Okay. The number one. Product of powers. When multiplying monomials, you blank the exponents. This is called the product of powers. Now before I give this away, I want you to try to figure it out based on example one. Simplify x squared times x to the fourth power. So I like to write these out in expanded notation. So let's take x squared and break it down to x times x times x to the fourth, which is x times x times x times x. So we have two x's multiplied together and four x's here all multiplied together. So when you multiply all them together, how many x's are multiplying together? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this all becomes x to the sixth power. So can you guess what we did? We took the original exponents of two and four and we got six which means we added them. So that is a rule here, and we call it the product of powers. And down here, it sort of explains it the same way. Example two, simplify 2a squared y cubed times 3a cubed y to the fourth power. Before we put the answer in the blank here, let's Let's expand each of these. So we have the first monomial, which is um, 2a squared y cubed, really means 2 times a times a times y times y times y. 3a to the third y cubed means 3 times a times a times a times y times y times y times y. So if you combine the lists you have you have 2 times 3 times a times a times a times a times a there's 5 a's and there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 y's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 y's and notice that you can put dots between all of them dot products or you can just put them right next to each other they all mean multiplication 2 times 3 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 a's multiplying together, so it's a to the 5th power. And 7 y's is y to the 7th power. So the answer is 6, a to the 5th power, y to the 7th power. And if we used the shortcut like we described before, we could have simply multiply the numbers 2 times 3 and added the powers a to the second a to the third we add 2 plus 3 to get 5 a to the fifth power there are three y's multiplying together four y's here we multiply all that together and we add the powers we get y to the seventh example three write out your work here so we have m to the third times m to the fourth times m So here we have m times m times m times m to the fourth power, which is m times m times m times m. And m by itself really has an invisible power of 1, m. So how many total m's are multiplying together? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this all gives me m to the eighth power, which is answer choice B. Moving on, we have power of a power. And this rule here, um, before we give it away, let's just look at an example. Simplify x squared in parentheses raised to a power of 3. So you would call this x squared cubed. So if you think about this, what's happening inside the parentheses is being multiplied by itself three times. So it's really x squared times x squared times x squared and each one of these x squareds breaks down to x times x, x times x, and x times x. So the total number of x's multiplied together is 6. So this becomes x to the 6th power. And you could have done that with the first rule, the power of a power. So we have um, 2, 2, 2, adding together gives you 6. And in this box, it shows you the same way we just did it. So if you go back to the original problem, x squared cubed, what's happening between the powers that will give you 6? You are multiplying 2 times 3 to give you 6. So that's basically the way that rule works. When you have an exponent inside parentheses followed by another exponent, you multiply those exponents. Let's try example 5. Here we have x or sorry, y cubed to the fourth power. y cubed to the fourth power means y cubed times y cubed times y cubed times y cubed each y cubed means y times y times y. So y cubed to the fourth means y times 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 y. There's a lot of y's here. And you count up all the y's that are multiplying, you get 12. So your answer is y to the 12th power. Now if we apply the shortcut, you would see that y cubed to the 4th, because we're raising a power to a power, there's the exponent inside the parentheses and the exponent outside the parentheses. You multiply 4 times 3 to get 12. So y to the 12th power is your final answer. You could use the shortcut. You could do it the long way. The choice is yours. P squared to the fourth power. Write out your work here. P times 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 P. There are eight total P's, and therefore P to the eighth power is the answer, letter C. Example seven, simplify eight cubed to the fifth power. I'm going to use a shortcut. 5 times 3 to give me 15. 8 to the 15th power. If I wanted to work it out the old-fashioned way, 8 cubed to the 5th power would mean 8 cubed times 8 cubed times 8 cubed times 8 cubed times 8 cubed. Basically, I wrote that quantity out 5 times and multiplied them all together. Each 8 cubed means 8 times 8 times 8. So therefore, 8 cubed to the fifth power means 8 times 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 8. Now I'm starting to feel crazy. And we have a total of 15 eights multiplied together
and that's where we get 8 to the 15th power. Same thing. Example 8, here we have um, simplify negative 3 times b cubed, close parentheses, to the 4th power. Negative 3b cubed to the 4th power means negative 3 b cubed times b cubed times b cubed times b cubed. Each b cubed means b times b times b. So therefore, if we write all this out, it's BBB times BBB times BBB times BBB. And this would give us negative 3 b to the 12th power, which we would have got the same thing had we multiplied the powers together. Here we have example 9. And um, this is a little trickier because we have 3 squared raised to the 4th, then raised to the 2nd. So this is kind of like a challenge problem. If we, we always work inside out whenever you have nested parentheses, or in other words, parentheses within parentheses. So here we have 3 squared 4 times. So we'll do that first. 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. Now all this lives inside of these brackets. But we still have to square that whole thing. So this entire set of brackets has to be multiplied by itself. So basically we need two of these. And all this really means 3 times 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 3. Which when we add up is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 16 threes multiplying each other, so our final answer is 3 to the 16th power. And we could have gotten that by using the shortcut 2 times 4 times 2, which is 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So the shortcut also works for when you have nested exponents. Example 10, 2a to the third power. Now here we're seeing something new because we have a number inside the parentheses. 2a to the third power. So now we're going to do 2a times 2a times 2a. Each 2a means 2 times a. So 2a cubed pretty much the same thing that we have up here. 2a times 2a times 2a, which basically means 2 times 2 times 2 times a times a times a. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 3a's is a to the third power. So this right here is the final answer. Now we could have done this by using the shortcut. Now remember, numbers and variables that do not have any powers have invisible powers of 1. And 3 times 1 and 3 times 1 there, we're basically distributing the 3. We have 2 to the third power times a to the third power and 2 to the third power is 8. And as you can see, same answer. Example 11, here we have 3x, all this squared. 3x squared means 3x times 3x. Each 3x means 3 times x. So 3x squared means 3 times x times 3 times x. 
which equals 3 times 3 times x times x. So we put the numbers together, and 3 times 3 gives you 9, and x times x gives you x squared. We could have got the same thing had we multiplied the power times the powers to get 3 squared times x squared, which gives us 9x squared. So again, same thing. Example 12, write out your work here. We have 4r cubed, so it's 4r times 4r times 4r, which is 4 times 4 times 4, uh, whoops, times r times r times r. 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 16 is 64, and 3r's is r cubed, so I'm looking for 64r cubed, which is letter C. All right, example 13, down here we have a, b, all raised to the fourth power. Think distributive property. And I was already kind of showing you that by distributing the 4 back to the other power. So we have a to the fourth, b to the fourth. Example 14, think distributive power. Let's go ahead and write in our invisible 1 powers and that 5 is going to multiply each one of those. So we have 5 to the 5th, p to the 5th, q to the 5th. And I know that 5 to the 5th power, well that's a pretty big number. Let's just make sure we do this correctly. 5 to the power of 5 is 3,125 p to the fifth q to the fifth. Now here we have 3 r to the third power so I'm going to be distributing that 3 so 3 to the third times r to the third which is 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 9 is 27 r to the third power Example 16, simplify here. I'm going to keep using the shortcut. That would give me x to the third times 4, so it's x to the 12th. And y to the 2 times 4 is 8. Let's keep going with this one. Now remember, there's an invisible 1, power of 1, in front of, or above that 4. So we're going to distribute that 3 there. So it's 4 to the 3rd times x to the 12th times y to the 9th. And 4 to the 3rd is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64 x to the 12th, y to the 9th. That's the final answer there. And here we have distribute the 4 to over here. So we have 3 to the fourth power, a to the eighth, and b to the twelfth. Three times three is nine, three times nine is twenty-seven, three times twenty-seven is eighty-one, a to the eighth, b to the twelfth. So that would be answer choice D. Simplify, we have three monomials multiplying each other. No big deal. We just need to remember to organize. Let's first look at all the numbers, all the integers. Negative 5 times 4. And then we'll go in alphabetical order. N's come next. So we have N over here and N to the fourth here. So we have N times N to the fourth. And then we have X's left over. We have X over here and X to the third over here, which simplifies to negative 20 n times n to the fourth is n to the fifth, and x times x cubed is x to the fourth. There we have number 19. Here is our homework. Um, multiply the following monomials. Write your answers in simplest form. It's numbers 1 through 20. It'll go very quickly, and I'm not going to give you any freebies. Maybe I will give you one freebie. 
let's look at number let's look at number 13 we have to remember to distribute the power to the other powers because 2 is outside of the parentheses so we have 8 squared x to the 10th and 8 squared is 64 just like that good luck